Hey there, Melamina here. Welcome back to my bikini competition journey. This is episode number 27, progress update number nine, and I will also be debuting another um, bikini this episode. So stay tuned for that a little bit later. Um, but for now, let's dive right in. So here are my numbers. And you can see that um, I started this journey in December of 2021. So I've got that up at the top just to kind of keep track of. And then um, comparing last week or last check-ins, so the last bi-weekly check-ins numbers on December, ugh, December, sorry, September 20th um, to this time on October 7, you can see that there's really not much change again. Um, it's a little bit uneventful when you just look at my numbers and my stats and stuff. Um, so, I mean, overall, that is a really good thing. I'm just maintaining, um, which is kind of mostly where we want to be right now. Uh, and when I say maintaining, it's it's maintaining like um, body weight and even the inches, but we are still building some muscle. So when I show the side-by-sides later um, in this episode, hopefully you'll be able to see that more muscle is being built. I am still waiting for the feedback from my coach, but um, last check-in, she said we were still on really good track, so hopefully she feels that way this time. Um, so I have been dealing with a few things that I've been talking about in some recent episodes. Um, I've been dealing with some fatigue, and I've also been, of course, dealing with like the bloating issues, so I wanted to give an update on both of those. Um, first of all, for the fatigue, I did a dedicated... Um, episode to that uh, last week. It was episode number 26 and it's called Feeling Fatigued, Try This. So if you missed it, go ahead and go back and check that out. Um, I found something that I thought was really interesting and I wanted to share it. So if you check, if you missed that, just go ahead and go back and check that out. Um, so in addition to my regular training, I um, have also... Mm, sorry, I wanted to go back to the bloating because <laughs> I just talked about that for, for a moment. So um, yeah, so the fatigue and then the bloating. So on the bloating front, um, I do feel like I'm finally making some progress. Um, yay, I've had several days where I felt more normal than not. Um, I, I still did have like a couple of days mixed into where I did still feel some bloating, but Honestly, I feel like it has been so long since I've had even one day without feeling bloated that um, the fact that I've had kind of a, a couple of them is off the charts amazing. So um, I have been doing, working with my medical doctor as well. We've been running some blood tests and, and some other tests. Um, I also had a skin food allergy test um, in a couple of, I think it was in my last progress update and in, in number progress update number eight I shared this whole laundry list of foods that we had eliminated out of my diet just in case I had some kind of like sensitivity or allergy to them and that's what was causing the bloating and the inflammation and stuff and um so I had scheduled a a skin allergy test with my doctor and I got the results of that back and it was all negative, absolutely everything. The only thing that even remotely showed any sign of anything was yeast. And um, the nurse who ran the test said it was like so minuscule. It, I mean, it was like nowhere even near, um, they'd run a positive control and a negative control. So the negative control is just um, saline and then the positive control is histamine. And my histamine reaction was like very clear, very obvious that I was having a reaction. And she said that the yeast was like nowhere near that. She kind of had to stretch to like even say that it was something. So honestly, I don't think that I even really have a, a yeast sensitivity. So in the long run, this is good news. It means that I don't have a food allergy and there's not any foods that are, that are causing this. Um, and at the same time, it also means we still don't know what's going on in there. So um, we're still investigating some things and as more data come in, I will definitely let you know um, the results of those tests. 
I asked my coach if we could go ahead and start adding those foods that we eliminated back in just so I can continue to like have some variety and stuff. Um, I have a feeling that she's probably going to want to continue to eliminate dairy and maybe even gluten because both of those things are inflammatory just inherently. So um, it wouldn't surprise me and I'd also be totally fine if she was like, yeah, I'd like to continue to keep these out. But we'll see what she says. And um, I'll definitely let you know about that later as well. So now we can kind of move forward with what I was about to tell you um, a moment ago, which was in addition to all of my training, um, I also tried surfing for the very first time during this last um, two weeks. And it was so, so fun. I had the best time. I went out with a few of my girlfriends and we actually did a surf lesson at the Surf Diva Surf School here in um, San Diego. They're actually located, we went to the one that was located in um, La Jolla. So we went up to the same spot where I got married a couple months ago and we did a surf lesson up there. And I am so glad that we did. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time and I had the best time. I, I feel much more confident now. I've only gone surfing one other time and I got my ass handed to me. Um, the ocean, the ocean one, Melamina zero. Um, I mean, she really rolled me that day. Now, to be fair, I did go out when the waves were eight feet. Um, where I used to work, they had, we had access to free kayaks and surfboards and stand up paddle boards and stuff. And a couple of friends grabbed me and were like, Hey, let's go surfing over lunch tomorrow. And I was like, okay. And I had no clue what the surf condition was like. So I tried surfing for the very first time in eight foot waves. I don't recommend that. Um, but this time when we went out for our surf lesson, the surf was like maybe two foot waves and it was actually really perfect and, and we had a great time. The water temperature was great. The, temp the weather itself was fantastic and I feel way more confident now um, surfing. So ready to go out on my own um, for sure. I definitely want to do it again. And I'm really excited because I was able to stand up a couple of times. So I think I got a pretty good feel for like, what it's supposed to be like and I'm excited to do it again. So I'd like to um, share some photos and maybe even some video with you if it's available. If my husband hasn't popped those in already while I was talking. But anyway. Um, okay, so what else? Um, yeah, so the last thing that I just really wanted to talk about was um, the last couple of weekends have been really tough for me. Um, you know, fall is in the air and I, I do love fall. And um, I've just been feeling really burnt out lately. Uh, just the constant diligence that this takes is really getting on my last nerve. Um, so I've blown my diet the last couple of weekends. Um, I wanted to go to Oktoberfest. I've never been to Oktoberfest here in San Diego. And so we went to one. Turns out it was the wrong one. Um, the one we went to is just basically a boring street fair. Um, so I, I did kind of like waste some calories um, going to that one. And then I did learn that the good one is um, still happening, was still happening this weekend as I'm recording this. And so we decided to do a redo and um, we went to uh, the good Oktoberfest this weekend. And honestly, I just, I needed the mental break. Um, I, you know, the, the diligence of the diet plus all the food prep, plus going to the gym on a certain schedule, um, you know, five days a week, plus the three days a week of cardio, um, and just fitting all of that in and being very scheduled on everything that I do, making sure that I'm up in time in the morning to get to the gym and then go to work and figure all that stuff out. And work has been insane lately. So even when I'm there, it's not like, you know, even when I'm working, it's not like um, I'm just devoted to one thing. I feel torn in a multi uh, billion different directions there as well. Like I'm juggling a million things. And um, it's, it's just been too much and I'm, I'm burnt out. I needed a break. And the last thing I wanted to do was track meals and this and that and the other. And I, I honestly got to a point where I just didn't even give a fuck. I just needed a break. So I kind of took it 
Um, I've been really good during the week though, still super diligent and on top of everything. Um, last weekend was before my check-in and so I was a little nervous of what would happen, but I think it actually worked out just fine. Um, my numbers reflect that everything was okay. And, you know, not that I'm advocating for just blowing things off, um, but I do think that, you know, I needed to listen to my own body and my own needs and I, I needed a break. And, um, and uh, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna do this all the time. I feel ready to recommit and, and all that. Um, and I also feel glad that I just, you know, did it. Sometimes self-care comes in strange forms and sometimes self-care can mean um, doing what doesn't exactly look like the healthy choice. Um, I'm not advocating for, you know, making bad choices that are maybe not good for us, but, um, but yeah, I mean, sometimes, sometimes we just really do need to give ourselves that rest. Um, so anyways, with that, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to touch base on this check-in. So here are my photos. Enjoy. And, um, yeah, there's my new bikini as well. I got a handful of new bikinis for my birthday, so I will be debuting those as we roll out, um, new, uh, progress updates. So yay. As always, thank you so much for following along in my bikini competition journey. I hope you found this um, video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, a like, please share it with others. And don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel as well. I drop a new video every Friday for Fitness Friday, but every once in a while I do things um, not on a Friday and you'll get a notification when new videos drop. Um, Please feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. Um, and if you're not 100% you know, comfortable with that, feel free to DM me as well. You can reach me at Melamina on Instagram. So um, with that, thank you so much and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.